upset feel? I'm just so much better. Hello. Hi. Oh, look at you. <laughs> We want to jump out. <laughs> we want to jump out. All right, well, this isn't what we was expecting. <laughs> uh, well, I only had the description to go on, and there was no breed in there, so we're trying to work out what... Oh, I did say Labradoodle. That was... We, we was on a bully breed or something. Oh, no, no, Blue, no. is it blue? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. no, so I'm like, right, it's going to be probably original. It's probably going to be like a blue staff or a cane course or oh, something like doodle. this. Imagine <laughs> my face when a doodle turns up. I'm like, yeah! Doodles are generally easy. Yeah, no, all my others are good as well. It's just him, but now where I've got two puppies, yep. he's causing an issue, and it's... He's got a tangled in the car. Yeah, I know, I can see that. So is this what he's normally... Oh, take this one off. Oh, is this what he's normally like? Yeah, he's worse. Yeah. If you take him out with the other boy, they fight. Okay. They don't fight indoors, but they fight in walks. He's fine off lead, right? It makes no sense. He's fine off lead, and he won't fight another dog, but he's got no recall, so you can't get him back. Mm -hmm. So obviously, he's got to be on lead, but when he's on lead, he seems to be like, especially kids, he's very kid aggressive, and like, he's never bit anyone, but it's getting to a stage now that I'm like, I can't cope. Yeah. Yes. Oh, so we, we can't be having that. Uh, and can you walk him w uh, when when you're in there? I have to put him on this, but as you can see, it makes me crash. Do you mind just walking him for a second, just so we can see what he's like? I can. I don't want you to do anything that's going to hurt you. That that's. Right, are you ready? Come. <laughs> oh, so I can see a problem here. Yeah. Right. That's, come here mate, I'll take him, come follow me. I can, I can drive and drink, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm, just, I'm serious, he can carry it. <laughs> but it's easier for my second pair of hands. <laughs> So you have to try different Yep. Yeah. He's got some power as well. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, fuck. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. Hi. Are you right? Yeah, I'm glad to see you at the hospital. <laughs> Uh, Karen, can you get me a slip lead quickly, please? <laughs> and when I mean quick, I mean super fast. Thank you. So you the f down, mate. Jesus. Your mum's in a mobility school. We need to slow you down. You can't be doing shit like this. I'm really surprised he's just letting him take his lead as well. Oh, why? Because he never lets that happen. Like, okay. when you jump up, you start, like, kind of, yeah. All uh, my neighbours can't go near him. Why? Because he'll, he'll just scare the shit out of him. Why is he aggressive? It's not that he's aggressive. We probably shouldn't have spoke about this earlier. <laughs> <laughs> he's not even aggressive, like, um, but he'll Mouth. bark. And where he barks, he did catch one of the kids' yeah. t-shirts, and that scared me, because I thought, right, you haven't bitten, him, so he's now caught a child. Right, so one of the things I need to do with you, mate, is just slow you down for a second. He just doesn't have a chill. All the way in the car, like, saw a lorry go past, tried to jump in the front seat. Yeah. Now, a couple of questions. How much exercise does he get? Uh, we used to exercise him all the time, but now it's become pretty much impossible. Yeah. So he gets exercised out like front of my house. Yep. Um, we play football with him and stuff. He's normally out there for about an hour doing that sort of stuff. But then, like I said, if the kids in that come out, he has to go in because it's just not safe. And the thing is, when you take him for a walk, if someone opens their front door, he will lunge himself into their house, lunge into the road, he'll lunge like, at someone on a motorbike, then he'll come to a motorbike. It's just not safe. No. No, it's not. <coughs> He's 
So if, if I, we get his walking under control, he can go back to having regular exercise. Yeah, yeah. Because this, this is half the problem. So obviously walking him is an impossible task right now for you. But all we're getting is a dog with all this pent up energy. So every walk is like starting again. It, it's, it's a completely new beginning for him. And you have this dog that has all this pent up energy. So he wants to do this. He doesn't know how to walk alongside you. So if we get his walking under control and we can slow him down, if we can then regularly exercise him with him walking nicely, then a lot of these problems go away. Right now we have a massively anxious dog. Yep. But I didn't know anything about okay, it. Okay, cool. So I didn't want to do anything. I didn't understand. No, I, I love that. Like it, like I said, all tools can be misused. All tools can become That's problematic. Why I wasn't using the slip yeah, I the slip lead's not the right tool for him. I only temporarily put him on a slip lead because it's the quickest way to slow him down. But the second we take a step forward, he's just going to be straight back out. Yeah. But if I want to quickly take control of a dog to get him to stop and do this, then the slip lead is the best tool for that. In terms of walking, that's going to give you the ultimate control and be safe for you is one of these. Yeah. Uh, so that's what... Is this the right one? So that's what I want. We're going to pop it on him and then we're going to very slowly teach him what this is and put some brakes on him. Because right now the end of the lead to him is just dig deep and pull more. Yeah. I want to teach him the end of the lead has meaning. Yeah. So step one is teaching him what the end of the lead means. Step two is tightening him up by my side. Step three is then having him walk by your yeah. side. Yeah. On this. You good? Yeah. Perfect. I'm the only one who lets do anything too, so we can't get him groomed. We won't let groomers do it. We can't do his ears, so you know you have to pull all that stuff up. Why don't you do that? Good boy. So before we go anywhere, I just want him to be a little bit aware of now the end of the lead has some meaning. Yeah. So what's happening is every time he pulls, it creates a little bite sensation. So if I take a few steps forward. You see how he's now becoming aware of the lead. Yeah. There we go. And he just needs to slow down a little bit. What side do you walk him on? Uh, normally I put him on this side. You're, you're right. Okay, so we'll go with that. So a little bit of pressure. Good boy. Pressure turns off. A little bit of pressure. Good boy. Pressure turns off. A little bit of pressure. Good boy. Pressure turns off. See right there? It's... Uh -uh. Shorten up the lead a little bit. Arm by my side. Piece of cake. <laughs> His energy's intense. Like he can feel it. And it's, it's not technically his fault. They've both been dealt a bad hand. Like she's now in a mobility scooter and he's too difficult to walk. And together they're just stuck in a vicious, horrible circle. But we need to sew his walking down so they can both get back to enjoying life. So right now, obviously, he's just freaking out. So we're just going to stop. We're not going to do anything. We're just going to stop. Good boy. Take a few steps. You see how he's now more aware of the end of this lead? Wait. I oh, know. It's hard, ain't it, mate? It's not easy being queasy. This wasn't the intention. No, it was not the intention. But it's got worse because of your situation and his behaviour. It's just become a volatile cocktail. Yeah? You can't blame yourself. Yeah? You're here. Let's fix this so we can both get back to normal. Yeah? yeah? The reality is you need him and he needs you. But you have to work together as a team. Yeah. He's actually a really cool dog. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Walk on this side for a second because I go forward more than I reverse. Doing it. Yeah, it's much easier on the left because you're gonna go forward mainly more than you reverse. But again, same rules apply. I want him by my side if he ventures off. He's a very nervy guy. 
think I'm probably going to use the Minaj to turn around in. Ah, when he's looking at my wheels and things, I'm going to correct because the reality is he's already taken a chunk out of this and forced the lady to crash. Ah, ah. So we go around a little bit. Come, mate. Slowly, slowly. They see me rolling, they hate it. The gravel does not do this any favours. But he's walking nicely. He's not happy. That's weird, no brakes. <laughs> that, that's really weird. Now you know how I feel. <laughs> it's, take some it's, a, it, it, it's like, right, do I just let... We are going to be... Because this is something, this is uncharted territory for us as a company. So I've been doing this for 11 years and it's only recently that we're getting an influx of people in mobility scooters and things like that. It's something that we've never even thought about, even obviously prior to Lee's accident. Uh, when but I spoke to other trainers, that's exactly what they said, like, they don't have any training. Yeah, so, so he, he's very, he, he is spoilt, but he's spoilt, he's got no direction, and this is what leads to this nervy way of being. So he's probably never been told off in a way he understands, so when I gave him a correction, he's like, oh! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like, normally it's no and then I get a cuddle. Yeah. <laughs> He is my baby though. Right, there we go. So one of the things I want to do before I set off is make sure he's not right next to it and he's not staring at it, ready to bite the wheels. Ah, right there, because he's already, you can see the chunk he's taken out of this. Oh, oh this turns quite nicely. And now we're on uneven surface. We can do it. Yeah. See it all right. I'm well impressed. I was just saying, like, just to show that it's well worth the money. Thank you. Something, oh. something that you really want to think about. We always say that four paws on the ground. Yeah. Four paws on the uh, ground. Four paws. So some blue, you're very needy. Come here, mate. So something you want to think about is how you fuss that dog. Sit. Right. So what's the right way to fuss a dog? I so. See a lot of your yeah. Blues. Okay. So, so like if this, yeah. So if I here. want to, f if blue's doing something that I like, i.e. calming down, about to lay down like that, I don't want to talk to him here because I can interrupt it. If he lays down, then I can go down. Good. Very calmly. No silly voice. No, more action, less words. But look how I'm doing it. Because if I start doing what you did, when you go, oh, good boy, he jumps all over you. Now, there's a time and a place for that. And this is where people go wrong. So if you want to reward him for, like, wicked fast recall, then you want to reward with animation. Yeah, well done, good boy, yeah. But if you want to reward him for laying down outside the house, something he never does for calmness, then it's less words, more action. So he stays in that. Because as soon as you go, good boy, blue, well done, yeah. Because it's how I'm stroking him. I want to reward, if I want him to stay calm but reward him, I need to reward him calmly. Yeah. He's fine he's with dogs. Uh, he's just not fine with mobility scooters. Or doing anything slowly. <laughs> but this is why I'm not rushing you or rushing anything right now, because dogs like this, the hardest thing for them to do is do things slowly and do nothing. This is the calmest my dog has ever been, ever. This is the fact that, <laughs> I know, but the fact that he's had dogs walking past and everything and he's laying he's there. Sat at what, 10 minutes? Yeah. yeah. Easy 10 minutes. But, not even holding it. 
I know. It, this is all him. And his legs are out to the side as well, and his paws tucked under, so he's not even in a position where he's getting ready to pounce or anything. Right yeah. And obviously the whining's kind of deep-rooted in him, and it will stop over time. The more exercise he has and the more we practice just doing this, look, head's going down. I told you it will stop. Look, nose is going down, head's going down. Look at that. That's amazing. Now, this is where you just don't say a word to him because you just want him just just appreciate and be happy with that moment. This is something I want you to practice, yeah? For no reason whatsoever, just stop. Pop him in a down or pop him in a sit and don't do anything. Maybe have a cigarette or something like that. But he needs to learn because outside the house, he doesn't know how to switch off. He doesn't know how to be calm, yeah? One of the keys to helping a dog be calm outside the house is to do nothing. Because even doing nothing is them still doing something. Yeah? So just practice three to five minutes on every walk, stopping and doing nothing so he can learn to chill out like he's just been doing now. It's, it's, a, matter of, it's a matter of safety. If you get pulled out of your chair, you're no good to anyone. No, it's like when we went into the wall. Yeah. That hurt. You're no good to anyone. And if you're injured or incapacitated, he, he, can't, he can't enjoy his life. He can't have a good life. It was the same as a lady. She loves her staffy. Her staffy means everything to her. But if she's injured and hospitalised because of her dog, she's no good to her dog. Yeah. yeah? So sometimes it's the right tool for him. How's that feel? And what we're going to do, so, are we all right to come in because we need a big turning circle? Yeah, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're feeling pulling, just pull back on that lead a little bit. That's it. And then come round, we're going to go back down. Just try to relax a little bit, relax your arm a little bit. That's it. Take him with you. No, no, you control the speed. Look at that. Now you can go wherever you want. I recommend just taking him to begin with. Yeah. But there we go. Well, look at that. And just stop, and I want, it, I want to get in the habit of when you stop, him not jumping on you. Because again, one of the things we need to practice is stopping and him actually staying in that position. Yeah, not, not stopping and then jumping on you. So move forward a little bit. And then just stop. Then move forward a little bit. And then just stop and then just hang out there. He needs to learn when you stop, he stops, yeah? I don't want him jumping up on you because that's not safe. I don't want him going in front of your scooter. I don't want him going behind the scooter. I want him next to you. You stop, he stops. You turn, he turns. He's with you, you're not hanging on to him for dear life. I don't want him pulling you out your chair. I don't want him injuring you, yeah? I want him to stay here nicely. Two on this side and two on this side. You're going to go through the middle, yeah? Whenever you're ready. Come on in, guys. You come down this way. Yeah, we need to smash these down a little bit because where they're more compact, it goes. But again, his job is just to keep plodding forward. Tail coming up. He's getting a bit more relaxed. Relax yourself a little bit. That's it. Got a bit concerned, but well, we did it. We're going to go straight into there and we're going to turn around. This isn't service dog training. <laughs> Southland Dog Training doesn't do service dog training, but if they did, they'd probably be the best service dogs in the world. That's it, walk away from me, dude. Uh, Karen, can you come towards me, please? Just want to make sure that if you stop to talk to someone, he still holds that yeah. position. Nothing else matters. Yep, so he should stay there, nice and chilled out. Come closer, Karen. That's it, stay there. His job is to stay there. Nothing else matters. If you're feeling going forward, just a little bit of communication through that lead. Thank you, Karen. Off you go. Steve, on your crutch.
<laughs> Love how he's doing it. It's going backwards and everything. Someone is going to comment that the crutch is the wrong way around. <laughs> so come right up, Steve. Hi. Hello. You yeah. right? Yeah. That's it. Thank you.